Howdy guys, just before we get into today's video, Tori and I would like to let you know that we will be coming out with a video once a week on Thursdays around noonish. So um uh, hope you guys um uh, hope you guys enjoy those and uh let's get into the video. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the LT True Review channel. Um just before we get started, as you guys know, smash that subscribe button and click the little bell icon for post notifications so you guys never miss out on one of our amazing videos. So today is uh is an exciting video, so we're gonna be teaching you guys how to do something called camera tracking. And it's basically where the center of the um screen is focused on a specific point like your head or your fingers. Um, or a specific finger or your hand or whatever and uh, it's a good tip to learn and a lot of youtubers use it and uh, It's just one of those things that once you know how to use it It just kind of you know you can use it for a lot of things um, and it's a helpful trick. So um, let's get into it Okay, so um, the first step uh, is pretty simple. So uh, you're gonna want to split the clip So let's say this was a big long clip. So as you can see right here. I start with the um, I start with the uh, with the hand motions. So um, this is a clip I pre prepared earlier. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna split the clip and then I wanna do it for the rest of this, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna go Command C and then click on the very end of the clip and then go Command V or um, copy paste. Um, and then you're gonna take that clip and you're gonna place it right above there. And then also another thing you're gonna wanna keep in mind is that the, both clips have volume. So you're going to want to um, erase the volume of the top clip because if you forget to, then it will be very, very loud and unpleasant for your viewers. So what you're going to want to do after this is you're going to want to make sure that there's no fade because fade is when you play it, it kind of slowly fades in like it's kind of hard to explain, but just make sure you have that um, not, not there. So uh, once you have that. So um, what you're going to want to do is you are going to click on the top one, make sure it's surrounded with yellow, then you're going to come up to this icon right here, then you're going to hit cutaway and then scroll down to picture in picture, then you're going to want to make it much larger than the actual thing itself. Now it might take some adjusting to see how you want it, and then you're going to focus whatever the finger or hand or whatever, so in this case it's a hand, um, you're going to want to uh, focus on the top part, or in the, you're going to focus um, on putting the hand in the middle of the screen. So then you're going to want to come up here to this icon, and you're going to click on it, and then it's going to be a, uh, a um, diamond with a little X, and that means that you're ready to go. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to go um, four, usually two to four frames forward, so, so in this case I'm going to do two. Um, the uh, less frames forward you go, it's more stable. Um, so I'm going to go one, two, like that. And then you are going to click on this, and you're going to move it back in the middle of the frame. Now, obviously, I did not make it big enough, so what I'm going to have to do is go like that. And then I'm going to go one, two again, and you're going to click on it and move it back to the middle of the frame. And then one, two again, and click on it and move it back to the middle of the frame. And then one, two, and then back to the middle of the frame. And uh, you guys know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, play a time lapse and be basically doing the exact same thing all the way back and forth. Um, and uh, you just want to remember to click the little uh, icon right here and then move the hand or finger or head or whatever to the middle of the screen. Um, and then you are going to uh, just continue doing that. Yes, it's kind of annoying, but it looks really cool in the end. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. So um, now it is complete. Uh, obviously, um, the time lapse you pretty much saw that I just did the exact same thing. So quickly, we're gonna play it, um, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Um, so uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it takes a lot of uh, self-learning, honestly, because um, sometimes you forget to do some things, and uh, you know, sometimes you do like two clicks without having without changing frames. So um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, uh, so uh, let's go back to the outro. 
thank you guys so very much for watching that. Um, I hope you learned a little thing, a um, thing or two, because uh, when I learned it, it was uh, definitely a helpful tip. So um, I hope you guys can use it in your videos and uh, your content uh, making in the future. So um, as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. And uh, hit the subscribe button and click the little bell icon so you never miss out on one of our videos. So um, thank you guys for watching, and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Talk to you then.